Hey, what's going on, Canna fan? What's popping? What's popping? You see the title. It says dispensary pickup. So let's just get into it, shall we? Before we do all that, let me go ahead and do that down. Hit that right there. And there we go. All right. So off rip. Like I said, we went ahead and did a little dispensary trip. Pulling out my goodies. So if you're not familiar with this brand right here, the grassroots. That's from Kira Leaf. We went by Kira Leaf and we went ahead and grabbed up some of their grassroots because they had a sale going on. And normally their grassroots is 50 clams. I was able to snag some up for the 20 clams. And on top of that, I had got this email that says, hey, we missed you. Come on back. Here's a 25% discount on top of everything. So I was like, shit, let me jump right on that. Hey, Jeff and Joe. What's crack a lacking? As you see, we're doing a little, we're doing a little uh car sesh, so to speak. You know, we went ahead and got some cure leaf flowers, some grass roots. We got some northern light smalls. I have not smoked it. I just wanted to crack it open and get a little whiff. And I will say this. They need to stop with this damn Mylar packaging and jump on the damn glass jar train because, damn it, I, I'm okay. I see they put a little small Bovita pack in here, but come on, man. Like, we don't want this shit in Mylar packaging. Did I use your trick? No, Beluga. I just went in there and I used the black man trick. I walked in there and said, hey, what y'all got for me? And then they said, well, sir. We have a variety of flour to choose from. And I said, I don't want to hear all that. Point me in the direction of some of your, your cheapest, but most, you know, flavorful, potent flour. That's how I did a blue. Hey, that's what that's that's what my brain was thinking. I was in there about to say, give me all of me. Give me all of weed. Give it to me now. But hey, the shit that I picked up from them, we got some star dog. And these are minis, too. So I didn't even realize that these are some smalls. So I'm not too mad at it. For 20 clams, I ain't mad at it at all. So we got some Northern Light Smalls. We got some Blue Breath Mint Smalls. And the Terp. And I like how they starting to put their Terps on the labels. The Terps on this, what is this? The Blue Breath Mints. It's coming in at a 2.86. The Star Dog is coming in at a 2 flat. And then I got something by the name of Ossifer. It's a Sativa. And it's coming in at a 1.56. Now, what I did do is I did bust open this here ossifer because it's a sativa. And guys, I'll say this right now. It's got like this fruity, citrus, lemon, kind of cat piss smell to it. It's, it's got, a, you know, it's sweet and gassy in a way. But more so, man, it just smells like a shit ton of lemons and cat piss. You know, it's got like that ammonia type scent to it, but it's 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 inviting. So, oh, and let me not forget. And then the last pickup I got a couple minutes ago, or probably like 30 minutes ago, we got some Space Age cake minis. You know what I'm saying? You getting a live review? As a matter of fact, Beluga, you are. We're going to sit here and we're going to try each and every last one of these strains that I got. And we're going to get hella baked. You know what I'm saying? So this Space Age cake is coming in at damn near 3% Terps. 2.978 THC 24179. Shit. Since I already busted open the Ossifer, the Sativa, we're going to go ahead and smoke another bowl of that there. I do like that Cure Leaf does put the little grassroots bovita packs in there. So, I mean, I guess it kind of compensates for putting it in the shitty ass Mylar packaging, I guess. But enough with all that, I'm trying to smoke. Let me see if I can show, I was trying to get Streamlabs to work, but for whatever reason, it's not saving the video to YouTube. So, I mean, yeah, Streamlabs. So StreamYard it is, you know what I'm saying, for some minis. 
It don't look too bad. You know, the camera don't really do it too much justice, but I mean, they all, all the nugs basically look like this. The whole eighth looks like this, you know, give or take. They're about the same size as some true leaf nugs. But shit, let's go ahead and grind some of this up. How y'all boys doing today? Let's see, did I bring my grinder? I did, I did, I did. I'm getting some rosin out now to smoke with you. Hell yeah, Beluga. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we're going to use the, the fluent grinder that I got many, many months ago from when I used to go there religiously at the shop with fluent. And, you know, when you build up points, you know, they gave me this little rinky dink ass uh, grinder. But shit. For it being a free grinder, I ain't mad at it. This shit's been holding together, you know what I'm saying? And let me show y'all the keys. Let me show y'all the keys so far that I got up in here. I don't want to tilt it. So, yeah, we got some nice keys. Damn solicitors coming up to the house. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want your solar panels. We don't want your damn solar panel. I'm just getting home with Chick-fil-A. Gonna smoke right after cheer. Hey, what'd you get from Chick-fil-A? I hope you got yourself a spicy chicken sandwich with some Polynesian and some of that Chick-fil-A sauce. Because if you didn't, I'm gonna have to reevaluate our friendship. <laughs> so my dumb ass, when I grounded this shit up, I didn't realize that I had some nugs already in there. So what I got to do now is now I got to pick through the shit that I, the nugs that are in there to get the flower. Damn, man, I be doing some weird shit. All right, where's that bag at? I got to sit here. Y'all ever do that? Whenever you take some bud out, if you're not going to smoke it, you'll leave it in the grinder. Well, that's pretty much what I did. My high ass forgot about this last night that I had some in here. And then I was wondering, I was like, I was about to flip out and be like, damn, this grinder just stopped working on me. Like, why are these, why are these nugs still hold for him? Nope. My high ass just forgot to take them out. Two sandwiches, some tenders, and a strawberry milkshake. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, and just for y'all, she's all clean. You know what I'm saying? Just for y'all, just for this here video, or this live stream, I should say. But hey, how was y'all's day today? Y'all did anything productive? Did y'all chase your dreams, your goals, all that good jazz? We're not gonna smoke a super fatty, you know, just something. You know, something simple, something light, nothing too crazy. I hope I got a lighter. Do I got a lighter? Please tell me I brought the lighter. Yeah, boy. We got it. Ten minutes. Can y'all hear me now? Mic check, mic check, 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 check. You hear me now? Fuck! That's exactly what the hell happened. Bluetooth connected to the car. All right. Um, y'all can't hear me now? Y'all can hear me now? All right, bet. Yeah, Beluga, fucking the Bluetooth connected to the car. I should have realized that. I should have realized that. That was that was my bad. 
Yeah, the car. I mean, I'm about to hot box. I don't know because if I. Reggie said he can't hear me still. Y'all, Reggie, you can't hear me? If y'all can hear me, put the number one. If you can't hear me, put the number two. He's trolling. All right, I was going to say, hey, you about to have me having about to. Hey, man, you can't be trolling me, dog. Shit, I ain't even high yet, dog. I was about to fucking restart this shit. Do the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Where you going to pick up? Hey, stretch. I already went ahead and picked up. Like I was saying, I went by Cure Leaf because they had this sale going on and I got some of their grassroots line. I don't know if you're familiar with the grassroots. That shit's normally always 50 clams out the door, but they had a sale going on and it was all 20 clams. But my my ass didn't realize that it was the smalls. So that explains why it was 20. But I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? So what we're smoking on right now is a sativa, and it goes by the name of Ossifer. I've never, I've never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? So we're doing this shit live, baby. And then I got some Star Dog crossed with Northern Lights. And then I also got some blue, some blue breast mints. And then I also went ahead and grabbed up some uh, Space Age Cake Minis. I was going to get the Wedding Crasher because when I went on the Truly website, you know, of course, it said it was out of stock in my selection. So when I went to go pick up the Wedding Crasher, I asked him and I said, hey, you got any of that Space Age Cake by chance? And he says, matter of fact, we do. A couple of people didn't come pick up their orders. So we put it back on the shelf and I said, let me get that. All right. Let's say just got home cleaning supplies for glass. Beluga, I'm a little slow right now. I get it. I know if you couldn't hear me, how would we know to put two? Hey, I, I ain't smoked yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not functioning right until I get my first smoke in. So, hey. I just got out the shower. I hate Florida, man. You get out the shower and you start sweating. It's not even that hot outside. But, hey, y'all, we're going to do some smoking session inside the car. So, hey, grab your lighters, grab your bongs, your joints, whatever the hell you use to get medicated, and join me on this here adventure. You dig? Hey, make sure you clean everything and make sure you get all that water out of this little spot right here because you don't want to be like me and then when you try to pull pull your slide out it gets stuck it creates like a little vacuum seal you don't want that light it okay i'm going let's get it i'm going cheers cheers Ooh. wow all right, hey, that first taste, that rip. So this ossifer from Cure Leaf, like I was saying, it's got like this real pungent lemon scent, almost like cat piss kind of scent. Like, And what I mean by cat piss, it has like that strong, like ammonia kind of scent to it. The taste on this shit is fucking phenomenal. Like I'm not even trying to cap. I'm not trying to like be a cure leaf spokesman. I'm just calling it for what it is. This that initial taste, no joke, tasted like some concentrated lemon juice. Like it has like a sour taste to it, but then like you get like this funk right behind it. Like it's that shit's enjoyable. Like I'm digging it. Like, hey, cure leaf, believe it or not. When I first got in the program, it was ass. Like, I'll, I'll never forget my very first purchase from Carol Leaf was some shit called Pie Guy or Pie Gal. And that was some of the driest, most harshest smoke I have ever had. And I mean, ever had. Not even the street shit was this harsh. I'm talking about the shit crumbled up into like a very fine dust. So it left a bad taste in my mouth and a bad first impression. So I never went back. And, you know, I remember it was on Chronic's channel. He was doing a review 
on the grassroots. And he was saying that, you know, they've definitely stepped their game up, from, you know, tremendously. And whoever the growers are, you know what I'm saying? They stepped it up a notch. And I have, I'll have to agree, Curly's, when it's on sale, the grassroots, I would say it's worth the money. Now, when it's not on sale, you won't catch me spending 50 bones in Curly's. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. I'll go and cop their edibles all day because for whatever reason, those fast acting, um, those jams, man, like, I don't know what it is, but those hit me a lot harder than any true leaf edible, any sunburn edible. I don't know. It's just something about them cure leaf edibles. Yeah, yeah. I inhaled two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. What do you say? I haven't tried Cure Leaf. Hey, Plurp, just when you go to Cure Leaf, just don't go in there expecting to be wowed away by like what the selection is. Now, they do have some good selection of flour, but I mean, just I would say do some research on it before you go in there blind because those bud tenders will tell you any damn thing just to get a sale off of you. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll sell you some bullshit and tell you it's gas and, oh, the Terps are the terps are up there at the 4%. And then when you get home and smoke it, it's the total opposite. It has no taste. It's dry. It's nasty. Harsh in the throat. So, I mean, just do a little research before you go to True Leaf. Um, I will say this, though. If you do go and you get the grassroots, I can almost bet some money on it that you won't be disappointed because... Even for the smalls, bro, the smalls, like, it it wasn't crunchy. It was soft. It had nice moisture to it, great smell. Like, you got two wedding crashes from True Leaf Stretch. Bro, I was going to do it, man, but I saw that Space Age cake, and, man, I love me some Space Age cake. And, I mean, granted, it's the minis. And I told the guy, I was like, hey, if you have any Space Age cake, can I just swap it out right quick? And it's funny because, I mean, I did get a wedding crasher. And then the guy was like, oh, this will be. And I said, it's $43. I know. I said, I'm mathing the day. And he was like, wow, you're right on it. And I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, 20 plus 23 is 43, bro. Like, it's not rocket science. I mean, I know it might hurt your brain to process that, you know, that mathematical equation. But you know what I'm saying? That's Southern Pound Cake. I've been hearing Mike talk about it. I've been hearing, now I'm hearing y'all talk about it. I didn't see any at my True Leaf. Is that what y'all talking about? The Southern Pound Cake from True Leaf? Or the Southern Pound Cake from Flowery? Because I've been hearing about that Southern Pound and a lot of people have been saying it's that, it's that thing. Like, it's the truth. I bring in exact cash every time. Don't need fucking... Exactly. Beluga, you have no idea. And then it's funny, like, if I don't have cash and I have my card, I'll go in and they'll, I'll be like, hey, you got an ATM? And they'll be like, yeah, right over there. And I straight up say, I don't want to use that ATM because y'all charge the little $3.50 fee. And then my bank's going to charge a fee on top of that. So at the end of the day, the quarter or the half that I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? It's like y'all taxing the shit out of me. So I'm like, nah, I'll be right back. They hate it. They hate when I say I'll be right back because they're like, damn it. We lost another one. Like, I'm known for it. I'll I'll bounce. I'll leave a dispensary. If if I'm in there waiting too long, especially after I checked in and did all that and it's not busy, I'll bounce. I'll say, screw the whole damn order and I'll leave. Or if I go in there, like, for example, say they fulfill your order. Oh, it's ready for pickup. You go to pick it up and then they tell you, Hey, guy, unfortunately, um, we had to swap something out. Hold on, big dog. This ain't Walmart. I, you didn't ask me to swap shit out. Don't be swapping nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it, then just don't fulfill my order. You know you, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to swap it out and be like, oh, well, they don't have a uh, space age cake. Maybe he'll like this here, you know, wild green wildfire. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, Boogie's on a rant because, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to play us like we dummies. Like the dispensaries, they they try to treat us like the average pothead. But they don't understand. A lot of us are, you know what I'm saying? 
some quick thinking, smart individuals, and you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't bullshit a bullshit, and you can't out hustle a hustler. So it's like, end of the day, y'all trying to hustle me, I'm going to hustle you. You know? Like, I kid you not, just just to see if I could get away with it, I had got a pre-roll that they said was a gram. I get home, I weigh it out, it said 0.7. So I go right back up there and I was like, um, you guys are advertising the connected pre-rolls as one Gerber and the one I got is 0. 0.7. And he's like, are you sure about that? And I was like, I'm positive about that. And I said, if you have a scale, weigh it right now. You know, this asshole actually went to the back, got a digital scale, pulled it out. And I felt like a champion. I felt like I just conquered the world when I saw it light up and it said 0.7 and I kept seeing him pick it up and turn it and try to lay it on this side and lay it on that side. It's like, bro. I'm just like, hey, what's going on, Dan? I was just like, bro, it's 0.7. It don't matter if you flip it, if you flap it, try to pump it up. It's a 0.7, bro. Go ahead and reimburse me. And, you know, just take the L. Y'all advertising stuff as full grams and it's a point seven. So, you know, that's why now it's like I don't want to be paranoid and be like, oh man, should I I just got a jar. I need to weigh it out and make sure it's a full ace. You know, I don't I don't want to have to do that because you know, I'm trying to give these people the benefit of the doubt to do the right thing. You know, I, I get it. A machine's doing it. A machine's, you know, packing it up, dropping, you know, the shit in the jars and it gets sealed. So but hey, enough with all that. That's that's Boogie's rant for that. And as you can see, I haven't smoked. This ossifer is a sativa. And y'all see, it's got your boy, got your boy flying right now. So I mean, that's the first hit of the day, too. So hell yeah. They did that shit. <laughs> what they, what what Jappy said? They they did that shit because you're black boogie. I never seen that shit. Bro. I'm trying to tell you, I try not to have that type of thinking like, oh man, they're doing this because I'm black or, but sometimes I'd be thinking like, hey, they probably be like, oh, here we go. Another black man coming in here trying to get some free shit. Nah, bro. Like I'm calling it like it is like the shit was skimp. You would, you would shout. You know what I'm saying? You would show, you show by point three. <laughs> But I, I didn't do it to, like, try to get any gain from it. I just wanted to do it to let them know, like, you know, you guys are advertising. I mean, granted, it's only a pre-roll, but still, it's just the point, like, if you guys are shorting on pre-rolls, that means you, you guys are shorting on everything else at the end of the day. I'm going to start bringing my – hey, Plurt, I'm telling you, 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 would be a, you would be surprised. Also, make sure you shake your shit before you leave because it's never happened to me, but I've seen, I've heard the horror stories of people buying it. They go all the way home just to find out that they have a sealed, empty jar. Now, tell me how mad you would be, say you just bought a half, and out of those four jars, only two are filled. They're all sealed, but only two are filled. I'll be hot, especially if you don't live close to that dispensary, you know? Cheers. Hell yeah, I opened my shit to park a lot too. Hell yeah. Let's see, depending on employee, definitely they're going to be in the mood. I wouldn't give no fucks. Yep. Hell yeah, sunburn. And how much are them buckets? Because I've been seeing them buckets like mad cheap, like two grams for like, what is it, like a like one fifty for the two? Oh, it's pop moment. Yeah, man. Like, look, first that's the first thing I do is when I get in the parking lot, I pop it and see if it's see if make sure this you know it's proper. Because if it ain't proper. We're gonna have a problem. Four grams for 240. That's a steal. Damn, that's a steal. Is that like a uh, um like a 420 like promotion they got going on? Is that just like an everyday deal? 
it's four for two, but I only bought. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That shit's crazy, though, Stretch. Like, man, like, I wish all the dispensaries would just start putting it in glass, the glass jars. Like, get away with the Mylar and just put everything in a glass jar. Like, just make it nice. 150 for the four G's, bruh. I need to go shopping with you. That's what I need to do. I need I need to just roll with Beluga and just be like, Beluga, here, take my money and go in there and work your magic. And you'll just come out with a big-ass duffel bag full of shit. <laughs> you'll come out and say, very nice, very nice. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. I don't know. So that was the Ossifer 8. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, if you got a cure leaf, I'd say go try it. It's worth a shot. It's worth a try. If you're looking for a nice sativa and it's not racy, like I do, like this, I would say this is, this was perfect for this live. This, to get it going. Cause you know, I'm glad I didn't start it off with no indica and get myself all, man, all tired and whatnot. Hell yeah, man. Hey, the more the merrier, brother. So that was the Ossifer. So let's go ahead and put that back. And as you can see, yeah, I got some of that swag, that swag right there. So we'll put that up. And let's see here. Blue breath mints. Do we want to go with the Blue Breath Mints or do we want to go with the Star Dog Northern Lights? Star Dog Northern Lights. Oh, man, did it fall? I think it fell. Oh, no. There it is. All right, so we'll do the Star Dog Northern Lights. All right. Let's see what this one smell like. Feeling pretty good. Smoking marshmallow fluff. Max mix is killing the A. It sounds good. That sounds delicious. Goldflower Shamara number four got for 55. I heard that Shamara number four is gas, man. Oh man. Now see, it just keeps getting better, y'all. The Star Dog Northern Lights. Ah, I man. I can't, this here just got a real sweet gas. This just smells like sweet gas. Just sweet gas is all I'm getting off of this. Just pure gas and sweetness. Only one thing to do. Grind some up and uh, do what it do, you dig? Shit. I'm trying to see. But yeah, for it being smalls, this is what all the nugs look like, guys. All the nugs are that size. Like, you know, no bigger, no smaller. They're all that size. So, I mean, it ain't bad. Man, it, it, it smells good, man. Like, it, I ain't, man, listen. I might cure leaf and then look, y'all. It's sticking. It's sticking. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. It's sticking. Yep, yep. That blue breast mint is fire. Hey, bro, we about to see after we try this here. Northern Light Star Dog. Is it the Northern Light? Yeah. You smoke off and say you gonna smoke? No. Let's see when you grind it up. Let's see. Okay. How do I know your hands weren't just dirty? But listen, dog, I got out the shower and my hands are perfectly clean. They still smell like soap and marijuana. Let's see. All right. So that it when you grind up the Star Dog Northern Lights. That 
gassy, that gassiness, it smells more like kerosene. Like, it's, this is, this is, ooh wee, ooh wee. It's going down, it's going down. But yeah, man. Nah, super silver haze drop with nine pounds. I, hey, I saw that. I see they're bringing, they're bringing back some old school, uh, some old school shit. Put this back in here. Guys, man, that smell. I t- Y'all need to go check out the grassroots. Like, for real, for real, go check out the grassroots. I just saw more mm, kerosene A. Reggie, I'm trying to tell you that kerosene is where it's at. Nine-pound hammer, I'd put you on your ass. Hey, y'all see my eyes, man. I'm trying to tell you. Made my bowl stick to my thumb when I carved it. Hey, you smoking on that sticky, sticky. Man, so that's out of all the pickups so far. So we smoked some Ossifer. We're about to do the Star Dog Northern Lights. And then we still gotta do the the blue, the blue meth, but not the blue ew, blue meth, hell no. The blue motor mints. Blue motor mints. Not that other one. Mm-mm, we don't do that. And then we're gonna do Space Age cake. I already know what to expect with the Space Age cake, but yeah we're doing like a little gauntlet a little gauntlet of 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 festivities got my lighter i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting kind of i'm getting kind of whoo blue breath mints book yeah yeah danny you know what i'm saying you you know what i'm talking about the blue breath mints listen the it's starting to do its magic. And you know what I'm saying? So just bear with me. Oh, that still dropped the true leaves. It was like, oh. I was fine. It, yeah. I mean, that if the nine pound hammer was at least in the 2% range, Terps, I would have got it. But, you know, when they got the roll, some of the other roll one stuff has more Terps than that. I was like, eh. I'd rather just go ahead and grab some of this right here. You know what I'm saying? That super silver haze was gone quick. Oh, I bet. Wait, old school. Oh, yeah. This Beluga, what you talking about? The roll-ups from oh, the roll-ups rising from gold leaf is insane. Does it taste sweet? Because if it tastes sweet, man, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to try that. But all right, y'all, we're going to try to, we're going to go ahead. First impressions on the Star Dog Northern Lights from Cure Leaf Grassroots Line. Let's go. Cheers. Now that's weird. That's really weird. Like, the taste on that is nothing like the smell on that. That's weird. Not in a bad way weird, but it's it's kind of... Hold on. I got to do that again. That was weird. All right. So... That's crazy that it, it smells like, you know what I'm saying, some kerosene gas, but it's got like a nutty pause, a nutty kind of taste to it. Like, to me, it's got like a, almost like a creamy, like undertone to it, but it's got like a nutty, earthy, like, you know, aftertaste to it. It's not bad. It's just kind of off-putting because I was like, I was expecting like some diesel, like some some type of gas on my palate. Eh. If I had to give it a scale out of one to five, I'd give it a three seven five. 
you know, it's not terrible, but yeah, Star Dog Northern Lights. Um, I probably wouldn't get it. I probably won't get that again. Um, yeah, I probably won't get that one again. That one wasn't this. The Ossifer, the one that I, I did first, that one was hella flavorful. That one tasted great. This one here is like kind of like I I don't know. Like it just got maybe I'm not a fan of like the earthy, nutty kind of you know, taste, but I don't know. It, it just sounds like a five out of ten. I don't know, bro. Like it just has a weird taste to it, but not in a bad way. The guava mains were like three and a half turps, I think, but I'm not paying full price. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm, yep. I mean, I put it like this. It's not a bad taste. It's enjoyable in a sense, but it wouldn't be like a, hey, bro, let me cop that Star Dog Northern Lights. That shit's gas. It'd be like, if they had Star Dog Northern Lights and say they had Member Berry, and say the member berry only had like a terp percentage of like a point nine something something something. I'm going with the member berry, just cause I this. I don't even really want to finish this. To be honest, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'd grab, I had the Cap Junkie, if you look on my channel, you go back a little bit, you'll see I did Cap Junkie, I don't know if, I don't, I think it was from Cure Leaf, but don't quote me, but it might be from Sunnyside, I think it was from Sunnyside, if I'm not mistaken, but I, I have had Cap Junkie, it just, I don't think it was from Cure Leaf. Let's see what what do you think is a reasonable price to pay for a glass piece like that? So I'll be honest with you, a piece like this, it's got a little bird in it. A piece like this, you know, it's 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 pretty thick, you know. Honestly, I only paid 80 bucks for it. 80 bucks. They wanted the lady was like, oh, um, she wanted like 120, and I was like, I'll give you 80. And she was like, okay. So, I mean, 80 bucks is a steal, you know. Yeah, the little art in there, it's got the, uh, you know, it's got a little mohawk. It's got a little mohawk in there. I wish the eyes would get red whenever smoke would go in there, but, you know, that's asking for too much. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my guy? Terps don't mean shit with memory berry. Memory berry always crazy pulling. Hey, Reggie, I will agree with on that. I agree. I just, I haven't seen them have member berry. And, I'm, I, you know, and when I first got into the program, that member berry, like, that was like some flower. When I, when I smelled it, I was like, this shit smells really fruity. Like, it smells like, it smelled beautiful. I was like, and that was like, you know, the first time I actually smelled something that, actually matched the name like it said member berry and when you smell it, it smelled like just very berryish, sweet and it just smelled delicious and i'm like yo let me get that let me get that member berry but now nah, they ain't they ain't got no member berry they got all this other stuff they got stuff like fizzy pop and 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 well, let me see and dookie butter and stuff like that yeah yeah i saw some rosin. I don't know. I don't remember which dispenser it was, but it was called Dookie Butter. You know, it was going for 90, 90, 90 a G, some Dookie Butter. And I was like, you got to be shitting me. No pun intended. I was like, I'll be damned if I say, yeah, man, let me get two grams of that Dookie Butter. <laughs> Could you imagine the turp profile on that? It would just taste like burnt burnt hair fucking tv static 
smell like just burnt burnt rubber. It would just smell like a trifecta of just nasty and taste just disgusting. Like they're, they're, whoever named it that, their marketing personnel should, you know, don't they they, they 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 shouldn't be allowed to name anything ever again after naming something doo doo butter or dookie butter, <laughs> whatever the hell butter. Hey, 13 viewers was a new record. You got to stream more. Hey, honestly, you, you might be right. Flowery got bootylicious. That sounds better than dookie butter. I'd rather say, hey, you got any of that bootylicious than say, hey, man, I heard you got some of that dookie butter. <laughs> you got any of that dookie butter left? Like, bootylicious just sounds better. But yeah, Jaffe, I, I do need to just go. I just be working a lot, man. But I, I should just start doing random little streams, just little random, random little streams and whatnot. Yeah, man. Don't let me catch y'all going into no dispensary asking for no doo doo butter. Okay. Hey, the little car streams, I'm trying to switch it up. Like, you know, I'm trying to go from, you know, chilling on the porch. Sitting in the whippo, you know, chilling with my people, you know. But yeah, that right there. Let's keep it moving. So we're gonna move on. So we did the Ossifer, we did the mm, Star Dog, Northern Lights. That'll probably be the last thing I kill out of the whole batch. This one right here, guys. Look, I haven't opened this one. You see, we ain't opened this one yet. This one here was the Blue Dream. I keep seeing I'm fucking it up. Blue Dream. <sighs> Blue Breath Mints. Damn it. Whew. Hey, now. What that smell like? Ooh. Okay. Hey. Whoa. This smells like some funky ass cheese. Ooh. Like this smells like like some funky parm and some rotten like some rotten parm cheese but in a good way guys like this. Damn. Man, and it it smells like okay, I know. It's have y'all have ever eaten like a fruit fruit cheese platter and you know what's that one spreadable cheese that you put on the fruit um is it the brie the cheese i think it's the brie cheese that brie cheese and that fruit is what this smells like it smells like a, li a faint faint smell of like a fruit but then it, it just got like this real pungent funky cheese smell to it man Oh, God. I can't stop smelling. It's got me. It's got a chokehold on me. Whew. Like, it smells that good, guys. Like, fuck. Enough of that. We are going to go ahead and smoke. Get in with some of this. Get down with the get down. Hell yeah, let's see. Ooh. What I'm going to do is, since you guys, since the, it's starting to get dark and shit, and you guys can't really see, I'm going to go ahead and post the um what these buds look like individually on the channel. So then that way you guys can, you guys can see. And this is coming in with the 2% terps. You know what I'm saying? 21.49%. Yikity yak. We're going to stop saying, I'm going to stop saying the magic word T C. I'm just going to start saying it's got a, it's got a yickety yak percentage of, yeah, yickety yak. That's going to be my new little word, yickety yak. <laughs> Man. Cracking open this super booth, crazy fruit smell. Man, I keep hearing about the booth. 
damn, I'm fucking lit. And I still got to get through, I still got to crack open the space age cake. Is that the, yeah, plurp for man, for whatever reason, that's the bags that um, Cure Leaf uses. But, okay, they put it in that Mylar bag, but you get a small little um, Bovita pack that they put in there. Each one of these little Mylar bags comes with, they put like a little, a little Bovita disc. Come on, man. And one thing I hate is the jam child lock. Fucking child proof, whatever you want to call it. This shit here is annoying. Damn it. All right. Fuck. You know, they put one of these in here. A little, little Bovito pack in there. So, I mean, I guess, I guess it's kind of like, oh, you know, yeah, our packaging is not the greatest. It's not the best. So, here, we'll put a little Mylar thing in there. But, come on. Satera, they put their stuff in glass jars. You know, like I know a couple other people this morning, they put their stuff in glass jars. That Space Age cake, it says the Terps coming in on this. Basically, almost three, it basically should have said 3%. It's a 2.978 on the Space Age cake Terps. And then, and then the, and then on the Yickety Yak, it's a 24.179. So. Go ahead and jump into this blue breath mint. Hey, I said it. I said it right. Let's see what it smells like on the grind. Oh, it smells like rotten fruit and stank ass cheese, man. It smells like rotten fruit and Parmesan cheese. Man, listen, out of all the shit that I got from Cure Leaf. The blue breath mints, based off of the smell alone, I would say, y'all, go grab it. I would say, go grab it. Just just off the smell alone, I would say, go grab it. Now, we're going to see what it's tasting like. Because if it smell, if it tastes anything the way it smells, then, ladies and gents, we got ourselves a winner. We're going to have ourselves a winner. And shit, while we're sitting in the car, I'll tell you guys, we'll have a little car story time. So, y'all want to hear about a time where I really fucked up and did a real rookie mistake while in the car? So, it was me and my homeboy. You know, we we're, were going to, it was a wild splash. It was the wild splash event. And I believe it was the one where Plies was there and uh, the franchise boys. So we were going to the Wild Splash event. You know, we're just vibing, kicking it, burning it down. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, you know, I was, I was, you know, doing what it do, you know, breaking it up. And for whatever reason, I was like, man, it's hot as shit. Turn the air on. So then I fucking turned the air on, on high. And I don't know if y'all seen the movie How High, but yeah, y'all y'all can just picture in your mind what happened. He basically fucking slammed on the brakes, pulled over, and was like, "Boogie, no!" Fucking, he's sitting there trying to like grab it and like on the floor, and I'm just like, "Bro, it's it's gone, it's it's done, bro." I was like, "That's it." I said, "That's all we got. It's gone." And I was like. Maybe we'll see somebody at the at the wild splash and maybe we can be like, hey, you got something, you know what I'm saying? We can, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and that's what happened. We did end up, you know, bumping into somebody and was they was like, hey, I got that deal. And I was like, you got that deal? Man, let me see that deal. And you know, it was that pressure. So it 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 worked out, but note to self, don't turn on your AC on high that is. If your co-pilot is doing up the breakage, you know, tell him he's just going to have to deal with the heat and just sweat his ass off and just, you know what I'm saying, just be a soldier about it because it, that shit there, it, it was terrible. Terrible. The birds are chirping. Birds chirping. 
that blue dream hell yeah loots man that blue dream was that shit that fire it was that fire Ah oh, man, I'm fucking lit. Let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and now let's see what this tasting like. Let's see what this tasting like. Blue breath the the blue. Breath mints. Space age is fire. Not a bit midi at all. Reggie, I agree. I agree. Even like when it's not, even when it's, the terps aren't even hitting in the high range, it's still space age cake is where it's at. But anyway, I've been rambling. Let's get into this blue breath mints and see what it do, what it do. The smell is phenomenal. On the, on the scale of one to five, I give it a five and I'm not capping. The smell is great. It smells like rotten fruit and Parmesan cheese. That's the best way I can describe it. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Okay. Mm. All right. That rotten cheese scent, you taste it. You taste it like it. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever grew it. Whoever grew it, it tastes the way that it smells like you have. You have the notes of like you have. They're not strong notes of rotten fruit, but they're there. You can taste them. I still taste it on my palate right now. But like that rotten parm cheese, like that cheesy funk it overpowers it and it's like it ta it blends together so perfectly and it tastes damn man i tell you beluga he's dang, he still got more to smoke after this he's gonna be gone yeah bro i still gotta do the fucking damn space age bro like you see i'm fucking man like this shit oh man i'm gonna go ahead and kill it but hey by far, if I had to rate the cure leaves, because after that, there's no more cure leaves. It's going to be the true leaf. I'd rate it like this. The blue breath, the blue, uh, the blue breath mints, that comes in first. Then comes in the ossifer. And then last is that damn star dog northern light shit. Yeah. But, hey, cheers, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. And uh, we're going to jump into that space age. And then. I'm going to hop off of here and eat and then put on a movie and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm fucking gone. Here we go, y'all. Cheers. Yeah, Beluga, I mean, hey, I hear the rosin from them is not to i mean i don't know having randy randy rhodes has a couple of reviews on i think on their rosin y'all should check them out um i think he said that it's okay but i don't know i haven't i heard a lot of people say that the rosin and like concentrates from cure leaf it makes everyone's banger turn black like it just ruins the banger and they say it all tastes the same like it tastes like you know doo-doo butter Oh man. I don't know, man. Shit is dark. I ain't trying to chaz up my chamber. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it I, I heard it's not it's not the best um concentrate. All right, guys. Last but not least. Space age cake. I'm fucking lit, bro. Like this is getting this is ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, there it is. That inf that famous space age cake smell. That it's got that 
Don't it got Girl Scout? It's mixed with Girl Scout. Like that. Oh, man. That Man, y'all already know. I ain't even got to explain Space Age. Y'all some OGs. You've already, if you haven't had Space Age, then you know what I'm saying? What are you waiting on? You need you need to go get it because that's just the way it is. You need to go get some Space Age cake. Because if you don't, you'll never know what it's like to be a real space cadet. You know? It's if you gotta be a space cadet to understand. Like, see, right now, like, I'm not even making sense right now. Like, right now, this whole live is all CGI and everything in it was fake. I'm not even really here. I'm somewhere in Barbados, all right? Y'all think I'm really in a car? You all are crazy. This was all green screen. You know, it's all green screen. It's all fake. This wasn't really flower. This was all, you know, CGI special effects. Ha ha. I got you guys. <laughs> you know? Okay, YouTube. This was all just, you know, for show, YouTube. This None of this was real. Okay? None of it. Like, you see? Like, look. This isn't really a lighter. This is Play-Doh. Okay? Special effects. That wasn't a flame. This is all CGI. Duh. Let's go, guys. Cheers. Uh, space Age Cake. <coughs> and y'all notice... I'm not even trying to cough, <laughs> but out of all the strains, Space Age Cake's the only one that always, no matter what, makes me cough. It always holds a special place in my heart, Space Age Cake. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate y'all coming in and chilling with your boy on this here journey. And, you know, hey, as a matter of fact, I'm going to keep doing these lives. And we're just going to keep running it up. Or at least try to, it is. But at the end of the day, it's not a race. I just keep it at a steady pace. That's all. That's all. No need to rush it. Just let it do what it do. Oh, Constantine, what's going on? All those you name, hey Danny, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Hey, I'm so lit right now. I don't even know what I named. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. <laughs> hey, y'all, I candy weird. It looks and smells and tastes the same, but does nothing to me. Hey Reggie, I'm glad you said that because I was gonna grab that. I was gonna get that eye candy, but I'm glad you said that because you know what. They're not going to get me with that name, Eye Candy. Mm -mm. Just like they got me with this damn Northern Light Star Dog shit. I wish I could go back and return it for something else, but eh, I ain't going to lie. I can't even tell what is what that's got me feeling like this, to be completely honest with you. I believe it started off with the Ossifer, and then I don't know, like, it just, it's just, it just... It's just been going up from there. Like, I'm fucking lit. I'm about to kill. Watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill this. And then, hold on, guys. something right quick
<laughs> Man, I tell you what. I'm gone. Thank you for tuning in with your boy. I'm out of here. Like, I'm really out of here. Holla for a dollar.